if you guys look at this, 3 divided by x plus 5. Now remember, we talked about here there's no constraints for this, right? You can plug in any number in for x and get an output, any number, any real number. Here, you couldn't plug in a number that's going to make the square root negative. Now, if you guys remember from your Algebra 2 class, what is the only number you can't divide by? Zero, Zero right? So all numbers are going to work. The only number that I cannot plug in is what's going to make this 0. So what we do is we say it's going to be all numbers except for the number that's going to make that 0. So what's the number that makes that 0? Negative, Negative 5. Now, if you guys want to look at a confusing way to write this, the way that we're going to write this using my set notation is besides negative 5, is there any other number you cannot plug in for x? No, right? Every other number works except for negative 5 because that makes it 0. So therefore, we can go all the way to negative infinity. Yes? OK. So we're going to go from negative infinity to negative 5. But can we use negative 5? No. So therefore, it's a parenthesis. If we could use five, negative 5, we would use the bracket. Then we have a union. And then we're going to go from negative 5 to infinity. This is notation I'm going to expect you guys to use and that I will, you will need to 